Our current project uh, basically focuses on exploring the potential of generating green hydrogen in Western Southern Africa. So the idea is to assess or utilize the renewable energy, basically wind and solar that are in these uh, regions, and then assess how this can be utilized to generate um, green hydrogen. Of course, the project also will take into consideration the available land that can be used for this infrastructure because you have to take into consideration land use for some other uh, very important uh, factors, very important issues like agriculture for residential area. Then we are also going to take into consideration in this project some of the, the local energy needs. So we have to generate uh, green hydrogen that will also be able to, to meet the local energy demands, taking also into consideration the local uh, social, political, socio-economic context. So in the end, our project aims to, to deliver um, what I could call um, or identify what I could call um, green hydrogen hotspots within these regions. Overall, we want to be able to support uh, a green hydrogen-driven economy in Africa that would benefit the, 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 the local people, that will also be of benefit for German partners, giving Africa also more possibility to be to play a more relevant role in the in the, in the international energy market. For us, um, we decided in this project to focus on green hydrogen because um, we understand that uh, the race to save our climate is a very important one at this time. And um, if we must do something to mitigate the, the impact of climate change. It will only make sense if we, we go for renewable energy. So basically, we want to utilize the renewable energy that's also in abundance in these regions to generate, green, to generate hydrogen. So when we do this, in one way, we, we save our climate. In another way, also, we, we utilize the resources that are also available in these regions. In our project, we, our focus regions are West and Southern Africa. And uh, for, for various reasons, um, these are regions uh, within the sub-Saharan Africa where you have uh, a very, still very large need for, for energy. So you have like 50% of the, this population is still without access to electricity. So for us, it's important to start this project in regions where we would make very substantial impact. So what we're going to do it's something that will directly make uh, an impact in the, in the socioeconomic situation of the local people. And then secondly, these are also regions where we have abundance of uh, renewable energy. So looking at, for example, solar energy, a number of these countries are very close to the equator, so they receive um, abundance of sunshine almost all year round. And then, of course, also with um, high uh, wind potentials. So. We, we, we feel that it's interesting to, to harness these potentials. And then thirdly, um, over the years, BMBF has uh, a long-standing cooperation with uh, uh, partners in this region. So there is a BMBF center in, in, in for West Africa focused on climate services, climate change uh, activities that is supported also by the BMBF. There is also one in Namibia that's focused on the Southern African region. And these are partners that we have built a relationship over the time. So we are leveraging on this relationship to work because for a project of this kind, it is important that you have partnership where the people um, make progress, where the people do drive the, 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 the project in a way that you, it's a win-win situation for all the people. That this is a win-win situation. For example, for partners in Africa, supporting a, a, a green hydrogen driven economy will of course, make a direct impact in the socioeconomic situation of the people. We create jobs for, for, for the millions of young people that are within the continent. We'll also reduce the, the dependence on the very uh, um, traditional energy sources like oil, like, like biomass, that also in, in several ways affect the, the, the continent in terms of climate. So the, the technology in Africa will, in a number of ways, create, uh, give possibility for a diversification of the African economy. And then secondly, this will also uh, support the, the German efforts to, to, to drive also her own economy by green hydrogen, because we are going to explore the possibility of also exporting green hydrogen from Africa to Germany. In the end, what we want to deliver 
it's um, an atlas. So we have to deliver an atlas that basically shows the, the in terms of um, uh, green hydrogen that can be uh, produced, in, uh, quantify this uh, this hydrogen, and then at the same time uh, uh, quantify the cost implication of doing this. So this is basically what we are doing at the moment. So we are gathering data, doing the relevant analysis that we need together in the end to to generate the atlas.